Well hello and welcome to another Corel Painter video tutorial. My name is Marie Otero and today we're going to explore using one of the fabulous new brush packs just released by Corel called the Wedding Pack. We'll be working through a number of images during this video tutorial and I'll be demonstrating a variety of brushes and how to use them on your different images. I'm going to begin by using this beach image and I'm going to duplicate my background layer to start, Control or Command J. I'm then going to go up to my filter menu and I'm going to choose Painter and Particle Shop. Our Particle Shop window opens with a prompt that says it recommends that we duplicate our layer, which I've already done, so I'm going to choose Launch Particle Shop. To begin with, I'm going to choose from my Brush Pack menu and go down and make sure I have my Wedding Pack set open. And I'm going to choose the brush called Directional Veil. With my Alt or Option key active, I'm going to click into the image to sample a colour. I'm going to make sure that I've got my glow setting checked on. I've got my brush set to 100, opacity at 63%, and I've got the weight set at 10%. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying some strokes in and around the veil. And basically what I want to do is just enhance the body of the bride's veil and give it a little bit more depth and interest. I'm going to turn my glow off and continue to place a few more strokes in here. Now we're bearing in mind that we're going to be able to edit the brush strokes a little further down the line when we get back into Photoshop. I'm then going to go ahead and choose my Star Writer brush and I'm going to make the colour just a little bit lighter and brighter just pushing the mouse on the colour wheel and I'm going to go ahead and apply some little brush strokes around the bride's head just to add a little bit of glow in there and then a few dots very lightly with my Wacom pen to add a few little starbursts inside her veil and a couple down by her skirt. Then I'm going to go ahead and save my file and choose save only the brush strokes at the prompt. Click OK. Now that I'm back in Photoshop I can actually manage the brush strokes that I've got on its own separate layer. I'm going to drop the layer opacity here down to about 70% and just have that nice and soft and a little bit subtle there on the bride's veil. Let's choose to create a stamp visible layer now. We're going to press Shift, Alt or Option, Command or Control and E to create a stamp visible layer. I'm then going to go back up to my filter menu and I'm going to choose Painter and Particle Shop again. Okay, for this one I'm going to go ahead and use my Light Circles brush. I'm going to sample into the image and choose my Alt or Option key to pick a colour. And let's just make it a tiny little bit darker by pulling down on the colour wheel. I've got my brush set to size 281 and I'm going to go ahead and come down and make a mark into my document and just put my light circle and by maintaining the pressure on my pen tool I can just increase the weight of that circle. Let's go ahead and make the brush smaller now. Let's make it about 220 pixels. And let's go ahead and make a similar circle into the image where it's just about on the edge of the sun. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Save. Click OK to save the brush strokes only. And there I've got my light circles in my document. They're coming over the face of the couple, so I actually want to go ahead and add a layer mask, change my brush to black, and choose an opacity of my brush of 100%. And let's go ahead and come in and mask out the circle where it's covering the couple and her dress. So I'm just using a soft round brush. I'm going to reduce the opacity of the brush now down to about 50% and just work on that circle a little bit more where it's coming through the bride and her hair and also through the veil. 
Now we're preserving our previous set of brush strokes because we've kept these new ones on a separate layer. Now to modify this slightly I'm going to go ahead and choose filter from my main menu, choose blur and I'm going to choose radial blur and I'm going to choose the method called zoom. I'm going to position the zoom just a little bit further up off center to the top left where the circles are in the image and I want a blur amount of about 10 pixels. Now this is going to vary depending on the resolution of your image. This is the fairly low res image so 10 pixels is going to work just fine and click OK. So that's given us quite a nice blur. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more though and I'm going to go blur, Gaussian blur and blur it out a little further to about 2.5 pixels, click OK and let's reduce the opacity of this layer to around 60% and I'm just going to modify even further and use my brush tool set at 40% opacity and just soften ever so gently the light circles down at the bottom. To finalize this image I actually want to add a little bit more light into the bride's dress so I'm going to go ahead and choose from my options in my adjustment layers and choose curves. Use my little hand tool and move that into the bride's dress and I can see where I'm going to bring the light values up for that. I'm going to press Control or Command I to invert that. Let's grab my brush tool again switch the color over to white so I'm going to reveal that adjustment set my brush opacity at 40 percent and just gently paint in a little bit more light into her dress where I want it and specifically we're, we're getting the glow through the dress from the sun Reduce the opacity down to 20% and just pick up a little bit more light in the top half of her dress. And there we have the first of our images using the wedding brush pack. So it's pretty simple. We've gone from this to start with, some embellishments to her hair and her veil, a little bit of light flare, lens flare on the couple behind them with the sun in the sky and a curves adjustment just to add a little bit more light. And there we have the first of our demo images. The next image we're going to be working on is a really nice soft natural light image. Bride on a beach in a very simple primitive kind of dress. So we're going to add a few more embellishments just to make this a bit more interesting. Let's start by duplicating our background layer. Let's go to our filter menu. Let's choose Painter and Particle Shop. So first of all I'm going to go ahead and use my directional veil brush and I've got my color picker set to blue with glow turned on and we've got a very very light blue sampled out of the image. So let's just push that and make it very 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 light. And let's go ahead and start to work some beautiful strokes following in with the lines of the fabric of the dress. Now you can be as flamboyant or as minimalistic as you wish. And you can control these brushes very, very nicely with just a fine sweep of the wrist. And I'm using a Wacom pen and tablet which makes this infinitely more easy. It can be done with a mouse but you have way less control. I'm going to then go and choose my star writer brush which is at the bottom and put a few sparkles into her hair. But add just a little bit more color into there and give that a little bit more vibrance in keeping with her beachy theme. And if we turn the glow off, we can just keep a little bit more solid color there and modify our colors a bit. Turn our glow back on and even put a few sparkles in her dress. Now 
and I'm happy with that so let's choose save and click OK to save only the brush strokes so now we're back in Photoshop and our brush strokes are on a separate layer I'm going to go ahead and just drop the opacity down to about 96 percent now we've got an image here that has a reflection and by adding those elements in our reflected image doesn't really match so what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate my brush strokes layer Control or Command J so now I've got a duplicate of that layer if we go up to our edit menu and let's choose transform and let's choose flip vertical then using my move tool I'm going to go ahead and grab those brush strokes and bring them back down so that they're more or less mirrored underneath our image and of course let's drop the opacity of that layer right down and looks much more realistic so now we've got the embellishments on her dress and we've got the accompanying reflections our third option that we're going to look at for using the wedding brush pack is this evening silhouette with a moody sky which sort of tends to lead us toward romance and relationships so let's go ahead and duplicate our background layer as usual let's choose our filter menu and let's go to painter and particle shop I'm going to go ahead and choose my love letters brush I've got my brush settings for 22 opacity 100% and the weight at about 68% and let's go ahead and just make this 100% zoomed in okay once I've done that I'm going to save my brush strokes bring my image back into Photoshop and let's just make that just a little bit smaller let's go ahead and convert this layer to a smart object now and then we're going to go to our filter menu choose blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur this in the amount of about five pixels choose OK then I'm going to go ahead and come down to my FX menu and I'm going to choose drop shadow and I'm going to set that to multiply color black and I want the distance to be 4 and I want my spread to be 4 and I want my size to be 8 and I'm going to then come and choose from my other options and I'm going to choose outer glow and here I'm going to set my color to blue so I'm going to pull a color out of my image and click OK the opacity to about 48 percent and I'm going to choose the technique of softer and I'm going to set the spread at 2 and the size at 7 let's just turn that on and off and see how we go there and let's just drop the opacity of that layer down a little bit to about 45 percent and there we've got a little bit of sky writing with our particle brushes let's have a look at a slightly different kind of image now we're going to have a look at one with this little girl and we're going to have a little bit of play making her into a fairy so let's go ahead and duplicate our background layer go ahead to our filter menu and let's choose painter particle shop and for this image I'm going to use the brush called peacock so let's go ahead and grab that and sample the color in the image this time we we'll use our eyedropper tool so we've got quite a nice soft mauve this brush has color variability built into it and you can tell that because it has a little speckled preview box in it and we'll leave the glow off for this one and with my tablet and my pen here I'm going to just go ahead and start drawing out some pretty fairy star wings for her let's put the glow in and then put the glow out and just come along with a nice little arrangement of fairyish wing strokes this brush is quite nice and easy to control let's change up our colors just a little bit more towards the mauvey hues 
and add a few more brush strokes in there. Let's drop the opacity down. Quite a lot of fun playing with the opacity and the settings of these brushes so that you get innumerable effects and no one image ever really looks the same. Now of course if you did happen to like these wings you could also save out the layer out of Photoshop as a PNG file and keep it for use as a, at a later date. Let's put some strokes in with the glow on and see how that goes. Let's go ahead and grab our Star Writer brush again and let's make our color a little bit paler and starry and put a few sparkles into the wings. This is a great way to embellish your junior shoots. Have fun making them into little garden princesses. From there we can take that back into Photoshop and have a little bit more of a play. Now I quite like these wings but they seem a little bit uniform in color so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to duplicate the wing layer I'm going to set the blending mode of the top layer to multiply and I'm going to drop the opacity down to 59% or thereabouts. Let's apply a layer mask to that layer, grab my brush tool, set to black and with my opacity set to about 40% I'm just going to go ahead and soften the further ends of the wings where they would be a little paler and the interior closer to her body would be darker. Now let's increase the opacity of that brush and let's come in and clean up where the brush strokes have moved onto the girl's sweater. And we're also going to have to apply a layer mask to the underlying layer and do that for that layer too. Let's just soften the stars in the girl's hair just a little bit by masking them out ever so slightly. And they're on our first layer. So if I go back down there, my brush strokes will be more effective. Increase the opacity of my brush. There we go. Let's go ahead and add a texture to this now. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to choose a texture that I've got here. Place it. I'm going to set the blending mode of that texture to multiply and I'm going to drop the opacity down to about 74%. Let's go ahead and apply a layer mask to that one as well and just take it off her face and let's zoom out a little bit so I can see. Just improve the light values in that image ever so much. Now the texture layer is actually popped underneath so I'm just going to pull that back to the top of the layer stack. To finish off I want to add a little bit of contrast into this image so let's go ahead and apply a levels adjustment and I'm going to choose increase contrast number two as one of the presets in our adjustment layers. So if we turn this off this is where we started and we turn it on and we've actually got a seriously fun and exciting image now with those particle shop embellishments. And here we have a pretty image of a lovely young lady, pink dress and a nice garden scene. So let's go and have a play with this in particle shop. Duplicate our layer, go to our filter painter particle shop. And for this image I actually would like to try using our bubbles brush. So I'm going to go ahead and set my bubbles to about 144 in size. It's probably quicker to type it. And 60% opacity. And I want my weight at 86. And let's go ahead and draw some fun bubbles of various different sizes in our image. This brush works by pressing with a stylus or a mouse. With the mouse you would just click and I'm going to increase the brush size. And just put some different overlays on there. I can drop the opacity and make the brush even bigger. This is a great fun brush. I love using this. Very specky. And it creates some really delightful effects. So let's save that out 
and let's go back to Photoshop so we can regain a new layer. So I actually don't want the bubbles um, to appear right now so I'm going to turn that layer off, duplicate the background layer one more time, go to Filter, Painter, Particle Shop. Okay let's go ahead and grab our peacock brush again and I'm going to use a soft pink color. I'm going to leave the glow turned off and I'm just going to use some very broad generous strokes and construct her some fairy wings. A little bit like the other girl, different perspective and slightly different style of brush strokes. I'm going to flick the glow on and off just so that I get some color variability in the image. And let's go back up here with And you can see that this pickup brush has the variability which gives us some nice variation in the colors. It's fairly subtle but very pretty. And let's make the brush a bit lighter and turn the glow off. And you can see by working with progressive strokes that you kind of build up the look and feel of the embellishment. Now I'm going to choose my leaf maker brush and let's make my brush ever so more pinky pastel. This is nice for making little fun embellishments. I've got my glow turned off and come down here and make it just a little bit darker. Now it's called leaf maker but it does all sorts of interesting and um, fun things and it's quite controllable as a particle brush so I find it very easy to work with. Let's make a few more darker shapes. Turn the glow on a little bit. Turn the glow off and just work in some more strokes so that it really marries the embellishment into the back of the girl's dress. Let's change the brush to fine chiffon and wipe gently through here and just further embellish just a little more. My motto is go big or go home which you can probably guess. Excellent. So now we've got the circles and we've got the wing embellishments. I'm going to save this and we'll return to Photoshop save our brush strokes and let's turn our bubbles back on. So the bubbles are a little strong now so let's drop the layer opacity of those down a little bit. So let's make them about 43 percent and let's also drop the layer opacity of the wings ever so slightly. I want to improve the light values in the image somewhat and I'm going to do this by adding a new blank layer at the top of my layer stack. Let's grab my brush tool and I'm going to choose my white brush and I'm going to set the opacity down at 10% and I'm just going to go ahead and paint in a little bit of white light into the image. Invert my brush so that it's a black and add a very soft little vignette. Let's drop the opacity of that slightly. Let's go ahead and add an adjustment layer, levels, Let's choose Increase Contrast 2 and there we have a very prettily embellished young girl in the garden. Well I hope you've enjoyed watching a few of these demonstrations on how we can get creative and have a little bit of fun embellishing our images with the new wedding pack from Corel Painter. 
in Particle Shop for Photoshop. My name's Marie Otero and thank you for watching.